Welcome back to weekly top 10 of everything. A wondering question, how long can a camel go without water? Makes people think about how it is possible that a camel, even with lower body stature than many mammals like elephants, could go so far without drinking a single drop of water. It is a known fact that camels can live without drinking water for weeks, but the only thing that makes the fact seekers think is how camels fulfill the body's water needs. So in this video, we are going to talk about how camels can go weeks without water. The video is going to be amazingly informative, so make sure you stick to the end. Camels are iconic animals, known for their ability to withstand the rugged terrain and elements of the desert. The fact that they're able to survive in an environment with virtually no water is somewhat of an evolutionary wonder. That being said, camels do of course need to drink water every now and then, but how long can a camel go without water? Camels are amazingly strong animals. Camels can go up to seven months in the desert without drinking water. During such a time, they may lose nearly half of their body weight. But do their humps get smaller? Even a really thirsty camel might still have a hump, as long as it's not really hungry too. Camels store fat in their humps, not water. As a camel goes without food, its hump begins to shrink. If it stays hungry long enough, its hump will disappear. When it comes to food, camels have a way of truly savoring every bite. Camels' lips are so thick that they can grasp leaves, thorns, and other vegetation without losing moisture off their tongues. Once they swallow food, three stomachs redigest it multiple times to extract all potential nutrition. After camels finish breaking down their dinner, they lose little water to excretions. Their feces are very dry, and they urinate less than most mammals. Camels even sweat efficiently. Not only do they perspire at a lower rate than we do, but their sweat also evaporates beneath their fur for better cooling. The camel's kidneys play a central role in conserving water by producing highly concentrated urine. For the current study, the researchers set out to identify the genes that activate this biological coping mechanism. The team analyzed how thousands of genes changed in the camel kidney in response to dehydration and rehydration. The results indicate that the amount of cholesterol in the kidney plays a role in water conservation. A decrease in the amount of cholesterol in the membrane of kidney cells would facilitate the movement of solutes and water across different sections of the kidney, a process that is required to efficiently reabsorb water and produce a highly concentrated urine thus avoiding water loss, explained the study authors. This is, to the best of our knowledge, the first time that the level of cholesterol has been directly associated with water conservation in the kidney. Thus, we describe a novel role for this lipid that may be of interest when studying other species. A camel's hump is made up almost entirely of fat, which helps them keep cool. Fat acts as insulation for warm-blooded animals, by limiting the distribution of fat along the body and keeping it all in a single place, their hump, camels can stay cooler than they would if their fat covered the rest of their body. The fatty tissue in a camel's hump, when metabolized, produces one gram of water for every gram of fat, which helps to keep camels hydrated. These fatty humps can also be used as food reserves in instances where camels do not have access to food. The fatty tissue in camel humps stores key nutrients and minerals that are vital for helping camels survive in times without food. Once these fatty reserves start to deplete, the camel's humps will actually begin to droop and lose shape. Being a hot climate animal, a camel would waste energy trying to cool down if its fat were wrapped around its body. Instead, by placing the fat in a hump that is out of the way, the camel can stay as cool as possible while still having an energy reserve. In addition to their fat storing humps, camels also have other adaptations that make them suited for the desert. Camels have long thin legs that actually help to keep them cool. The desert sands can get incredibly hot, almost 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And by being so tall with the majority of their body lifted high above the ground, they avoid absorbing much of the heat that radiates off the hot sands. Not only that, but camels very rarely sweat, which prevents excess water loss. And when they do sweat, camels are capable of withstanding up to 25% loss of their body weight due to sweating, while other mammals will experience cardiac failure at around 12 to 14% of water loss. 
Camels have incredibly efficient kidneys that are capable of reabsorbing water at a much higher rate than other mammals. This causes the camel's urine to come out as a thick liquid, almost the consistency of syrup, and it also is key in preventing excess water waste. Camels can withstand long periods in between drinks, but when they do drink water, they can drink a lot. A thirsty camel can drink as much as 30 gallons of water in just minutes. Camels have oval-shaped blood cells that are very elastic and capable of changing shape when hydrated. This is partly how camels can drink so much so quickly. Camels are just very efficient at using water and when they're well adapted for dehydration. The camel seems to be designed both inside and out to hold on to whatever it takes in. Its fur prevents the camel from sweating too much. Its blood cells are also tiny enough to keep circulating as the camel's blood thickens from dehydration, but elastic enough to hold lots of water. If a thirsty camel finds an oasis, its red blood cells might balloon to more than twice their size while its hump remains unchanged. Why do they store the fat in their humps rather than storing it around their belly and other parts that could also work as the insulating layer around the body? Whenever the food and water resources become scarce, the body metabolizes the fat in humps for nutrition, and the humps get deflated with time, but it recovers when camels get access to food. Camels store fats just in humps to minimize the insulation of the body in so many temperatures by concentrating the fatty acids on their head, backs, or in humps. In this way, during nighttime, when the temperature drops, the camel dissipates the heat from the body. So the camels store the fatty acids only in humps, as it is their main part of the energy, not for the insulating the whole body with fats. Camels actually store the fats in the humps, not water. The concept of storing water by camels for later is not very supportive after the results from research. In the food scarcity condition, the metabolizing fats from humps makes the humps shrink or deflate. The hump will disappear if the hunger prolongs. Their body is well adapted to dehydration conditions so that they consume water efficiently. The major thing that supports the water holding or water storing capacity of camels is the shape of body cells. The body cells have the elasticity to hold a lot of water, sometimes more than their actual size. There are three species of camel, the Bactrian camel, the wild Bactrian camel, and the dromedary. Both the Bactrian and wild Bactrian camel have two humps, while the dromedary only has a single hump. Dromedaries have been domesticated and make up 94% of the world's camel population. So the two two-humped species make up the remaining 6%. This leads to the conclusion that most of the world's camels only have a single hump. While camels are quite impressive in their ability to survive long bouts without water, there is one animal that blows all other desert-dwelling creatures out of the water. The kangaroo rat is capable of going its entire life without ever drinking water. Now, kangaroo rats don't live for very long, only about three to five years, but that is still an incredible amount of time to go without water. Kangaroo rats get all of the water they need from their diet, which is made up of almost entirely of seeds. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to Weekly Top 10 of Everything to see new videos weekly. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.